What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. Let's continue our discussion about Revit Architecture 2022 for Architecture. So as you can see, we are still working on the site model of our project. So this time around, I'm going to show you how to place a parking space and create a schedule for that. This will going to be a very simple exercise and very short one. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom into this area. Okay, so to do that, let's go to the massing inside. And then from the model side, you can see here now the parking component. So it adds parking spaces to a topo surface. So again, make sure you have a topo surface for you to be able to properly place your parking component. Okay, so to add the parking space, you must open a view that displays the topo surface. The topo surface is the host of the parking spaces. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select the parking component. And then from the properties, if you click the drop down arrow, you can see here different uh, types of the parking space. So for my case, I'm going to select 9 uh, feet by 18 feet, 90 degrees. Alright, so let me just select this one and let us place this. Okay, so in Revit, if you place this, uh, if you click the space bar, you will be able to uh, rotate the model. You see, space bar, space bar. So you will be able to rotate it. Okay, so I will rotate it like in this position and then I'm going to put it here. There you go. And then I'm going to Rotate again, space bar, space bar, and then I'm going to place it here. There you go. And then I'll select here, modify. And then you will notice if you're going to click your space here, you have two options here, right? So you can flip that left and right or up and down, okay? So you can use that to flip your uh, parking component. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I'm going to populate this all the way to this part here using array. So instead of using copy, I'm going to show you how to use array. So to do that, let's go to the modify. Okay, and then I'm going to select parking. Let's click array. Actually, no need to go to the modify. Even if you're on the architecture tab, you just need to select the parking component, the parking space. And then you will now be going to the Modify Parking Contextual tab. So here, you'll be able to go to the Modify and click Array. Okay, so just click that one. And then after that, make sure Linear is selected. Anyway, Linear is selected by default. Okay, so I'm just showing you that you have two options to Array and Object. So you have Linear, the other one is Radial. Okay, so I'm going to select Linear. Group and associate, so that will be able to change the na the number of copies for our arrayed object. And then you can specify here the number. So for my case, I'll just use uh, two. And then I'm going to select move to second. So that will going to be the distance from the first copy to the next copy. So when you say move to second. So let's say I'm going to pick here as my first point. Click. And then I'm going to move my pointer to the right side. And then I'm going to type the distance. So let's say 9 feet. So I'll just type 9 and then enter. There you go. And then as you can see, you'll be able to change the number of those or the number of the parking space that we have placed here. So instead of 2, so you can change that to another number. So let's say, for example, you select modify. It will deselect the group. So you just need to select it again, and then you can change again the number. So let's say, for example, uh, 10, enter. There you go. So you'll now be able to change. So if ever you click outside and it deselected the group, just need to select one of the element that is part of the group. Just click that, and then you can change here. So how many? Uh, how about 15? Okay, how about 16? I'll make it 16. There you go. Okay, 
So for example, these are now the parking space for that area. And then I want this to copy this one as well, just like what I did here. So I'll just click this, array, uh, linear, two. I click here, make sure move to second. So I click here, uh, move your mouse to the right, and then type the distance. So let's say nine again, enter. There you go. And then you can change here the total. So let's say five, enter. There you go. Okay, so how about 10? about 11 there you go and then i'll just select here modify and that's it so if i check the 3d view so this is now how it looks like there you go so there's now our parking spaces now the next thing that i'm gonna do is going back to the side so let me just hide the the cad drawing here so i'm gonna type vv or victor victor vv let's type vv and then it will open up the visibility graphic overrides or just make sure you don't have any selected elements so go to the properties and then look for the visibility graphic overrides click edit and same it will open up the visibility graphic overrides go to the imported categories and then uncheck the site plan i don't want that to be shown in my project so i'll just select here okay there you have it okay now, um, let's say, for example, I want to create a schedule so that every time I add my parking space in any part of the building, so that schedule will going to be updated. Okay, so how to create a schedule? So to do that, just go to the project browser, look for the schedules, right click, and then select use schedule. Another way to create the schedule is go to the view tab. And then look for the schedules on the create panel you can see schedules and then click schedule quantities and then type p for parking double click or select that one and then specify the name here and then just select okay that's it and then just now select here the field that you would like to be added to your schedule Let's say, for example, uh, you just want to have, I uh, don't know, the count of the parking component. So you just select the count, double click. So it's now added to the field. So let's say you also want to know what's the name of that. So what's the family name, the family and type. So I'll, I can select family and type. And I want family and type to be the first on the column. So I'll click that and then I can select this one to move up. There you go. And then just select your OK. And there you go. So there's now your schedule. Okay. So let's say, for example, I only want to know the total count. I don't want to be specified each of the family and type. Okay. I don't want every instance of that. So if, if I have 1,000 parking space, I don't want to see here 1,000 instance. So how to edit your parking schedule. So to do that, um i'm gonna select again go to the properties and then other you can see here again the tabs so i'm going to select or the the options so i can select again the fields or you can go to the sorting and grouping but in case you already selected fields that's all right just click sorting and uh, grouping right okay and then after that, you will now be able to sort your uh, schedule. Oops, close, right. Okay, so I want the total, the grand total. I just want the totals. And then I do not want to itemize every instance. So I'm going to uncheck that one. Grand totals, totals only, and then select OK. There you go. So I have this parking space 9 feet by 18 feet 90 degrees. I have total count of 27. So what if I add another one? So for example, okay, so I want to add another one here. Okay, so I go to the, where is that? Massing inside, parking component. So this time I select 
uh, this one or any type just for this exercise so let's say I'm gonna put one here okay modify and then this time I'll just copy this copy select copy constrain multiple so let's copy it copy copy okay for example just like that okay then after that if you will go back again to your schedule you will see that it's updated go to the parking schedule and then it's now here it says varies but as you can see here the total is now updated okay so it's now 31 so you may want to change this so you can go to sorting and grouping again you can sort it by family and type this time and then let's check again how it looks like and there you go so you now have a separate family and type here that tells you how many type of each family okay so basically that's the basic uh, modification of your schedule okay so that's it for this uh, simple exercise again um, if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.